What's good guys, Prince Sports here coming at you with another one. So let's bring the filthy and get into it. Now, Kevin Durant wants to know, what have you done to add to your legacy? Yes, I haven't forgot about you, okay? Now, rather you took your kid to school and gave him some good advice, adding to your legacy, fine. That's a cool way to add on to your legacy. But Kevin Durant decided to make a mockery out of legacy in a professional sport. But let me ask you this, Kevin Durant. When you no longer could do something and you pass it on to your kids, what is that called? It's called a legacy. When somebody honors you by having a statue outside, what is that called? Legacy. When somebody says you're one of the greatest of all time, what is that called? Legacy. Right? All right. That's what we have. Because when it's all said and done, and whether you're still on this earth or not, all you have left behind is your legacy. Whatever you leave behind is what people are going to remember you for. So if your career was to come to an end today, Kevin Durant, what would you be known for? That's your legacy. All the money you can have in the world, you can't take with you. Your legacy is just like saying, all I got in this world is my nuts and my word. And I don't break that for nobody. Because that's all you have at the end of the day. So legacy is very important, especially when you're in a billion dollar business. If you don't want to be criticized, you don't want to be judged, don't play basketball no more. Go and play YMCA basketball when people could just look at you and say, hey, you seven foot tall, man. You could have been in the NBA. What the fuck happened to you? So guess what? Even if you're not in the NBA, you're still going to get judged because why are you playing on a basketball courts of Harlem Rucker Park? And you're not making it as a professional basketball player. People are going to ask you, man, all this talent you got, you couldn't make it to the NBA. That's criticism. Everybody in life faces criticism. Have some tough skin and get used to it. YouTubers face criticism all day, every day. I get people trying to challenge me or disagree with my opinions all the time, KD. It's part of life. Okay? But what you can do is prove people wrong. Add on to your legacy. So if you're going to pay a professional sport, you can't take all the credit when you win. You're going to have to take the credit when you lose, too. That's the problem with you guys. You want everything handed out to you. You want excuses. You want people to sit down there and baby you. Throw your teammates under the bus. Give you all the credit for when you win. But you get jack shit when you lose. When you lose, it's everybody else's fault. Um, last time I checked, Kevin Durant, you got swept. Uh, you got swept. Um, getting swept is embarrassing, bro. Especially when you're on a top championship contender. Um, there's no buts, ifs about it. You came up short, dog, you blow it. And if you can't respect responsibility as a man, like Dominique Wilkins said, you shall honor your contract and stay on the team that you agreed to play for. Be a man, play basketball, and prove everybody wrong. But you can't do that because you don't have no honor. You don't have no respect. All right? You just want to get the easy way out. And life is not about that. It's about hard work. All right? It's about hitting that pavement. And that comes with the territory, man. You know what I'm saying? So I had to say hi to somebody there real quick. But... And despite the fact that I'm walking around with a camera, people looking at me like, what is he talking about? I mean, hey, see, it comes with the territory. I'm gonna get I'm getting judged right now as we speak, as I film this video. But I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because I'm comfortable in my own skin. I don't have shit to prove to anybody. But you have everything to prove to yourself. And Kevin Durant, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and prove to yourself that you could do this shit without riding the coattails of another another person. Be a man. Have your own too. Stand on your own too, dog. I'm not talking about you professionally making money. Okay, it goes deeper than that. Once you have money, it's about the power and the respect. Okay? Then after you have power and respect, you got to strive for other things. There's always something to live for. There's always something to earn. There's always something to accomplish. Money ain't the be all, the say all to everything. Being successful in life is not the be all, the say all to everything. You could be a superstar and be still unhappy. In anything, rather it's rap music, basketball, because something in your heart is being unfulfilled. 
And you gotta, you gotta do that yourself. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. Nobody's gonna hold your hand and be your parents, man. You know? You gotta man up and handle this shit like a G. Prince Sports out. Peace.